killer. And, you know, last time, you know, we saw him, he missed out at center court, but the time before that, alternate routes, he was the only course finisher. Really smooth there on the monster hey, jump. I like it. <laughs> I'm just stepping in, smart move, making his way through the sinking spider pretty quickly. <clears throat> well, Joe has unbelievable upper body strength. This is an obstacle that does worry me. Come on, Joe. And a nice, fast hey, approach, yes. and he's through. Well, there's a lot of upper body left, so... I would expect some big things from Joe from this point on. Okay, a little close. Got his toes on the chair. Scared me a little bit. He's, he's moving on. <clears throat> well, Joe is in such an interesting position because, I mean, he's sitting in 17th place mm -hmm. in the season standings, but getting back to the third major would give him a shot at the championship. Right. And I, I'm a little worried about his pace here. We saw Adam Burnett going really fast. And look, we saw another malfunction, but the but Drew gives him the peg, and he's moving on. Peg getting stuck a little bit. I mean, this is the pace, though, that, that I think we're used to seeing Joe compete at. He's not one of these blazing fast athletes. He's more of a composed athlete, mm -hmm. more methodical in his approach to the course. Right, and, and he's not going slow by any means. Right now, he's on Morovsky's <laughs> pace and Lucas Rail's pace. I like it. Keep those feet up. Get up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't like watching people's feet on that obstacle. Joe, you're scaring me. And he's got the timer on his watch. You know, he, he knows what he's doing. He's been competing for a long time. Even though he's a younger athlete, he's so experienced. Here we go. I mean, he's looking really good right here. Mm hmm Cleared. Getting some chalk, and he's at about 2 minutes and 30 seconds. So he's not quite on Adam Burnett's pace, but he is a little faster than Joe Morowski and Lucas Real. He's put himself in a pretty good spot so far. Choosing to go up one side here. Some big moves there. Wow. And so much strength there from Joe. No kidding. Nice Let's grab. The net. Deciding to go under, keeping his feet up. Getting a little caught up there. Every second matters, though. Cargo nets are so underrated in how tricky they are. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we saw, I mean, that's a couple seconds there. All right, he's got 45 seconds left. That's a, a really good amount of time. Going right into the flight risk. So he's got, if he wants to take a second, he can. It's all about the landing here. He's Come eyeing on, it up. Come on, Joe. He's a little far. Oh. Oh. And just overshoots the dismount. No. What do you do at that point when you're when you're swinging through the air like when you know you've got a little bit too much? Well, how do you adjust? I mean, it's it's about the point that you release because 